Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Episode 10 for our series here. Let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to try to follow the riverbank again. See if I can get down to the shelter. So that's sort of the plan again. We had done an all right time last time, but I think we're going to have to try uh, one more time. We did sleep. It is early in the morning. Uh, we could obviously go check on our kiln here, which we've got plenty of charcoal for. Um, so we'll put all of them in there. And it's got, okay, so now it's got 130. Now I don't have any, I've got cooked meat, but I think that's it. I don't think I have any meat chunks. Is there meat by any chance nearby right down there? Lots of wood too, I see. Three chunks of meat. Interesting enough, the stomach rotted, but the meat's fine. No, why is it? Why is it giving me a hard time about a squirrel? Okay, this chunks of meat's old, but we can still chunk of meat, fat. Okay, let's grab some of this bone because we could turn it into bone glue or make bone broth with it. Okay. But the biggest thing is I want to go ahead and smoke some more meat. Which should be pretty instantaneous. We'll batch five pieces. Skill in cooking has increased to three. That's pretty nice. So I don't think it did all of it. Oh, it did. Okay. So that should give us a lot more options. Do I have any more raw meat on me? Chunk of, just the chunk of fat. Okay. Which I can't do anything with right now, correct? Okay, it says I can do cracklings. So we'll do those. We're thirsty. All right, it says we can make meat pies. That'd be nice. Let's make a few meat pies. How many can I make? I've got flour and everything. Yeah, I can make three meat pies. Um, Does it have to be the dehydrated meat? I guess it does. Or chunk of meat. Okay, so dehydrated meat it is. We'll use all the one we've got in our territory or in our inventory water nearby interesting thing to note is when you're cooking uh, you don't have to use clean water obviously the premise of cooking is you're heating the water up so you're going to boil any bacteria out of it so don't waste your clean water cooking unless you have to all right so i guess we've got 18 meat pies which are really good for us but unfortunately they will go bad in three days. So we will bring them with us. As for the dehydrated meat, and the uh, we'll keep the cracklings on us. We'll drop the dehydrated meat because we know that doesn't go bad. So that gives us 15 dehydrated meat. I've got all that thread there. Which we'll keep here. And I, oh yeah, I've got all that bone. I want to try to cook that into something. Can I... I know I can put bone in here. I believe I can. Yes. So there's charcoal killing here. Should take 361 minutes to finish burning. Okay, so we'll see what we get out of that. Might just be more charcoal. But I'd like to make bone glue too. At some point. I'm not worried about it now. Plenty we'll get plenty of bone over time. Um Boy. I'd love to craft more armor, but we really can't can't until we get our level up which we can't do just yet let me see if I can let me see if I can mess with this 
Okay, we're gonna have to go outside or open a window. Let's open a window. Let's see if we can repair a t-shirt. It says no, we can't. So let me find, do I have a piece of clothing? I've got the steel toe boots. Can I repair those and practice on them? As much as I hate to ruin those. Okay, so we destroyed them, but what did we get? Okay, we got level 1 and 13%. I could just craft some random stuff too, and then... I didn't mind doing that to the steel toe boots, because personally, I don't think I'm ever going to wear them. I think right now I've got hiking boots, which is generally a lot better. I have a pair of boots. It's lighter anyways. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I want to go do some exploring, but we need to get a higher tailoring level. What can I make? Okay, we've got a pouch. Really gets in the way, though. It's encumbrance 10. Leather belt we could make. Leather chest wrap. Let's see. We don't want to make anything, actually, that's going to... Let's just make a t-shirt if we can. Can we make a t-shirt? Okay, we'll make a house coat. Or something maybe. How about... Okay, a pair of shorts. That's pretty... Easy. So we craft shorts. And we're gonna... We've got the improvised first aid kit. That's right, I made that last time. That's good to have. Okay, let's use the... We're going to use the bone needle. We're going to activate it. We're going to try to reinforce our shorts, essentially. But pretty much, we're just going to keep repeating till we destroy them. And that gives us tailoring one at 48%. So we're almost tailoring two. We're getting there. Oh, all that cooked meat went bad. Okay. So I eat the stuff that's going to go bad first. Okay, now we just got the meat pies, which we've got three days to eat, so that's not bad at all. Do we have anything here that's going to go bad? Just wild vegetables. Oh, that's bad, though. And the boiled eggs, but they last forever. These last one season, they last one year. We'll drop this off, though. Um, I think we're going to stay today, and we'll head out tomorrow. So let's keep working on our tailoring. Reload our bone needle. Activate it and repeat as long as we can. Let's get that le uh, tailoring level two. Really, burn through it that easy, huh? It's close, very close. We'll eat through these meat pies soon enough at this rate. Okay. All right, there we go. Get a nice fire going while we practice. And tailoring is almost two. Oh, actually, he's got a good success chance now. Okay. Okay, we actually managed to reinforce it, and our tailoring is at level 2. Alright, let's boil some clean water. Do we have... Okay, we've got a gallon jug of water. How much can we hold? It's four. Oh, oh my goodness, almost stepped on the fire. Wrong key. All right, clean water, batch, and four. Pour into container, canteen. All right, so we're doing pretty good there. We've got tailoring two. We could take a look now and see if we unlocked anything with tailoring two. We unlocked a lot of stuff. All right, what are we looking for? What are we wearing now would be, let's see, I can see we can make now leather armor boots, leather armor gauntlets, which would be nice. 
Is there anything we really want to change out? We've got a t-shirt. We should change it to a long sleeve shirt. A pair of wool hand wraps. It's getting fairly warm out. We probably don't need some of this stuff. Why don't we drop some of it off? We're wearing cargo pants. Um, a boonie hat's fine. The t-shirt will... Um, let's see if we can drop it. We'll change it out with a long sleeve shirt. Uh, I don't need the whistle. We'll keep the backpack, obviously. The long rope we'll keep on us. Useful if you fall in a hole or something. Uh, the pair of wool hand wraps will drop. Fit over sunglasses is fine. The tool belt's fine. Okay, and this scarf. Okay. Now, let's see if we can repair some of our actual stuff we've got here. And we destroyed our booting app. That sucks. We could probably make another one. Let's see what we can make for our head. So, cotton hat, turban, blindfold, rioter mask, hooded hat, baklava. We can make a baklava. It's got a warmth of 30. We really don't need that. We're going to get hot. Warmth of 10, coverage of 95. Keeps the glare out of the eyes. Won't let water through. Fits you perfectly, obviously, if we make it. Oh, actually, we need a boonie hat to make it. So do we have another boonie hat somewhere? I don't know. Okay, we're going to make it. Use that. Oh, interesting. So we didn't make it because we didn't have the boonie hat. So I don't know why it was saying we did. All right. Um, So that's not accurate at all. What else can we make? Guess we can make a beret. Piece of, piece of clothing is fancy. At least it doesn't let water through. It's got good coverage and a little bit of protection. So we'll just use thread. Okay, we got it. So we'll wear it. There, we look good. We'll drop our shorts off for now. What time is it? Looks like it's pretty late and we're pretty tired. Let's go ahead and close this. We'll eat one last time and we'll head to bed. And save the game because that's always important. Okay. And we'll eat some of our meat pie. Wow, we were hungry. Holy crap. It's raining right now. We are going to want to move out. But there's a few things more that I want to craft. Um, I took the t-shirt off because I want to make a long sleeve shirt. I believe. Unless there's something else here, but I don't see anything. Leather chest wrap, I think, is for protection. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's do the long sleeve shirt. Just for better protection, essentially. I don't even know for how much is it is it better or not, really? Uh, realistically. Um I guess realistically it's not. covers the torso and arms though so actually it protects your torso and your arms the t-shirt doesn't aside from that it's pretty much the same encumbrance and protection so well, we'll craft it okay we failed to make it but at least we didn't make any uh, waste any materials so that is good okay just use thread this time 
All right, we'll wear our long sleeve shirt now. Got to make sure everything's in the proper uh, position. If I can remember the key, here we go. So innermost, we want our long sleeve shirt. And we'll just do back wrap, backpack, long rope, tool belt. Heads fine. Boxers should be <laughs> inside the pants, not on the outside. Okay. And what else? What is our tailoring at now? It should be a little bit more up there. It is. It's almost at level three, which would be good. Oh, we can make a quiver. Finally. Uh, that can hold 20 arrows, activate to store arrows. Can be activated to store up to 20 rounds of arrows or bolts. Yes, this is beautiful. Yes, let's definitely, definitely make this. Failed to make it, and we wasted some materials, and we crafted it. So we'll wield that. We can activate it and store. So we have 42 arrows. What's nice, though, is storing those in our quiver will actually save us that space in our inventory is what it'll do. So we'll activate it, store ammo. Okay, so that'll be like a... Backup reserve actually it doesn't look like it affected our volume at all Well, either way we're wearing it We got 22 on us and we'll have 20 in our quiver Okay. All right, what else? So we've got that I'm not worried about anything else there don't want that Leather van braces gives us a really good protection for our arms. It's an encumbrance of eight, but we get a bash six, cut six, and even a little slight environmental protection. Clothing will protect you from harm and withstand a lot of abuse. Leather gloves will do the same thing. Leather arm gauntlets actually is what it is. I'll withstand a lot of abuse. Yeah, we want to make those if we can. Yeah, we definitely want to make... Okay, let's make the leather gauntlets. Or do we want the leather gloves? Believe it or not, the gauntlets are better. In... Encumbrance, not as much coverage as the leather gloves, and not as warm, but way better protection, which is interesting. And an environmental protection. And these ones won't stand, withstand as much abuse. So we've got those on, and I want to make the van braces if we can. Which were arms. And where we did not make them and we wasted some materials. Okay, luckily we had enough to make them still. Okay. Nice. So looking at it that way, we're actually pretty good. How are we? Tailoring is now at 281%. I would have swore we would have gotten it to three. I do want to make sure I've got this right. That's right, and that's right. All in all, actually, for encumbrance and everything, we look really good. All right, so we're ready to go. Now, we didn't get tailoring to three like I was hoping, but that's okay. Let's get some food and water again real quick. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll want to craft some clean water. What do I got on me right now? I've got five. All right. What kind of food can I make? Wild vegetable stems. Yeah, sure. We could do some fruit juice, some cooked fruit if we wanted to. We could rehydrate meat, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Protein drinks, protein shakes, which we could do. Okay, let's do some protein shakes. We could do two of them. We'll use clean water near 
by pour into the glass bottle, I guess. Oh crap, which one was it? I didn't know that there was multiple glass bottles. It's over here. Should grab these empty ones. Okay. Nice, so now we've got some meat pies. We've got some protein shakes. We'll grab these wild vegetables and I'll take the Johnny cakes. There, that gives me plenty of food to eat for our trip. I will cook up those wild vegetables, at least make wild vegetable stems or something. Can I eat those? Enjoyed meat pie. They don't seem to make a difference. The wild vegetable stems seem to suck. You could probably turn it into other stuff. Well, we'll keep... I guess... Hmm. I guess we could drop them. Or just eat them up. Probably good for us or something. Okay, so I think we're set and ready to go. I think we've got everything on us. We've got our bow, our spear, which is getting a little weak, but it's all right. Um, you've got our arrows. We could drop the bow needle. We've got a lighter if we need it. We've got some food, some med medicine, an improvised first aid kit. We'll go ahead and drop our thread. Actually, you almost feel like we should keep the bow needle and thread on us just in case we need to repair our armor for the trip. That's not a bad idea. Aside from that, we've got plenty of space. And we'll be burning through a lot of this food as we move through the area. We'll leave the makeshift crowbar, I think. It's pretty heavy. I mean, we could definitely take it. If we come across, you know what, we'll take it. Sometimes you can find airdrops in the middle of the woods, so you can find crates with like really good military gear. So we're gonna want the makeshift crowbar if we find that. Okay, so we'll take that with us and then we'll be all set. But we're at the end of this episode, so unfortunately a lot of crafting this time around, but you know you're gonna get episodes like that from time to time because crafting's a pretty huge portion of the game. Overall, we're we're doing all right. You know, survival's up there. We got cooking up to three, which was nice. So we can cook some different things, uh, which we did this episode. We got uh, tallering almost to three, which is great. Hopefully, we'll get fabrication continuing to rise. And uh, everything else is doing lovely. Probably continue to work on archery here and there as I can. And I think the next uh, for next time, we're going to head out into the woods and do some more exploring. Got to try to find a road or a town. I figure I'll follow the riverbank till I find a bridge. And then, I don't know. The next biggest thing is going to be trying to get some other things up. I need to make some more first aid kits. We almost bled out, and that was a pretty scary thing. So I've got the one improvised first aid kit, which I think will help. But uh, we're going to want to be ready for another one. Because it will bleed, he um, heal bleeding. Okay, so with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.